to its mythological background of it, we are awestruck at the magnitude of our ignorance. Let's check out some of the weirdest myths about world creation that people believed. 1. Central Africa, everything in this world is God's vomit. In Basongo culture of Africa believed that their creator Mbombo had one of the worst cases of upset stomach in existence. Back when the world did not exist, the god Mambo had stomach pain. Since there were no remedies to treat his problem, he lived with it. It eventually sorted out in the form of a lot of vomit. He puked out the sun, the moon, the stars, animals, plants, and eventually confused humans. After teaching humans how to make a fire to survive, he departed to heaven. 2. Ancient Egypt, life started with semen. Adam is a revered deity in Egyptian mythology. It is believed that he existed because he willed himself into being. He felt the need to create and wanted to bring it all to life. So here's where it gets weird. He masturbated and ejaculated into his own mouth. Then he sneezed out the wind and sprew out the semen out of his mouth to create the rain. From there on, life came into existence. 3. Australia, a rainbow snake created the world. This one starts out innocent enough. In the beginning, we were all sleeping and dreaming, and the world was a devoid. The first thing to awake was a rainbow serpent, intent on shaking the world, literally. She started waking creatures up, one by one, starting with the frogs. Still, this new world needed water, all of which was contained in the bellies of the frogs. She quickly came up with a solution. The rainbow snake tickled the frogs to make them laugh. In their laughter, they began to cough up water. The water flowed, creating plants and awakening the other animals. 4. Norway, the Norse gods, created the world from limbs. Before the entire universe existed, there was a god named Imr. When Odin was born, he and his brothers killed Imr and decided to cut his body apart and use it to create the cosmos. They made the oceans from his blood, the ground out of his skin and muscles, plants out of his hair, his brains became the clouds, and the sky was created from his skull. 5. China, sky and earth were made out of eggshells. According to them, in the beginning, the universe was nothing but chaos. Everything was contained in one humongous egg. Then Pang, a god, was born inside of the egg and waited there, growing strong. As he woke up, he tore the egg apart, the upper half of the shell becoming the sky, and the lower half thus becoming the earth. When he died, different parts of his body became parts of the earth. 6. Mongolia. God breaks the leg of a Mongolian loon who tried to create land. In the beginning, Father Heaven had two sons, Uljantengar and Elreg Khan. At that time, the world was completely covered in water. To fix this, Uljan called upon the loon and asked him to bring up mud in order to create land. Unfortunately, the loon was unable to do this no matter how much he tried. Angry with his failure, Uljan broke his legs as punishment so that he would be unable to walk. 7. Japan, Floating Land when heaven and earth both began to exist, land was an anchor down, and it just floated across the world. The gods were tired of land always floating around, so they asked Izanagi and Izanami, two gods, to do something about it. They took their spears and roughly stirred the ocean. When they drew out their spears, the brine that dripped from them became an island. Eventually, the pair of gods gave birth to 14 islands, which became Japan. 8. The Zuni's gods did some plastic surgery for humans to exist. The Zuni believed that in the beginning, humans had no mouths or anuses. We had webbed feet and crept around like lizards. We were unfinished and not quite humans yet. We eventually came into the light with the bow priest. They planted corn, grew it, and harvested it for us. The bow priest waited until we were all asleep, then took a knife and cut mouths onto our faces. Of course, the humans ate, but by nightfall, they were very uncomfortable because they could not poop. To fix this, the bow priest took the same knives and created anuses for all of us. 9. Mari, the first Mari children, broke up a perfect marriage. There was a sky father, Rangi, and an earth mother, Papa, as the story went. 
They loved each other to death, and at the beginning of time, they just lay together, cuddling and loving each other. Everything was peaceful. But then they had kids. Like a lot of kids. These children were stuck between them and didn't much like this arrangement, so they decided to tear their parents apart. They at last managed to do this, and the Rangi separated from the earth and went to live like the sky. And this day, Rangi misses Papa so much that he will sigh and weep, and this is why it rains. Pretty savage of the kids, eh? 10. Taoism, the earth is a big dead man. According to the Taoist myth, at the beginning, the sky and the earth united in a shape like an egg. From that giant egg was born Pan Ku, who grew taller every day, causing the sky and the earth to grow apart from one another. After 18,000 years of growing, Pan Ku died. His left eye became the sun and his right eye became the moon. His blood flowed out and became rivers, his flesh became soil. The fleas thriving on his body became human beings. 11. Norse paganism, we emerged from an ice giant's armpits. According to Norse mythology, Immer, a giant, was formed from melting ice. Immer's sweat created more giants. When Odin was born, he killed the wicked giant, Immer. Odin and his brothers then constructed the world from the giant's body. With the help of his brothers, Odin created the oceans from Immer's blood, the soil from his flesh, the sky from his skull, vegetation from his hair, and clouds from his brains. 12. Nubianism, women invented men. Nubianism created the myth that fetuses that survived abortion live in drains, where they are organizing to take over and rule the world. According to this myth, men came from women. Rather than giving birth to men, women created them by manipulating the genes. This trumps the entire Adam and Eve story, am I right? 13. Shiluk gods used flamingos as models to create humans. According to the Shiluk people, Juke was the creator of the entire human race. Like Adam was made out of mud, Juke also molded the first men from mud. One major difference is that the deity collected different colors of mud to create men with different skin colors, white, brown, and black. Juke used flamingos as an inspiration. That's when he decided that humans must have legs. 14. Haida legend, ravens found human existence. The Haida people of the Pacific Northwest see this bird as clever. To them, the bird is a trickster that played harmless pranks on people but also did useful things. Haida legend holds that a raven found a shell filled with frightened little humans, not lilliputs, mind you. The bird then coaxed the creatures out of their shell and into the world. 15. North Carolina, the creation of the world. In the beginning, the earth was filled with water and the animals lived in the sky. Then the water beetle created mounds of mud that became the ground. Afterwards, this earth was fastened to the sky with four cords. After this, life was brought to the world. Somehow, the story glosses over the details completely. Once life started, though, the first man and woman came to earth. He hit her with a fish. In seven days, a child came down to the earth. I'm sure this would make a lot of feminists very angry. Way to go, Cherokees. 